Shocking twist, Victor's secret dungeon holds Jordan's captor. What's next for the young and the restless? In a jaw-dropping reveal from the latest episode, Victor Newman's dungeon holds Jordan captive, while the world believes she's dead. But as tensions rise, what will Victor do with his prisoner? With potential suspects lurking, including unexpected allies and enemies, the drama unfolds with each twist and turn. Meanwhile, Victoria and Cole's desperate search for Claire takes unexpected turns. As secrets unravel and alliances shift, prepare for a wild ride of suspense and mystery on the young and the restless. Stay tuned for the latest updates and shocking developments. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Victor's dungeon holds the corpse of Jordan's mysterious attacker? Spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that, should they choose to seize it, the program may have a fantastic mystery. It would be a shame to lose this opportunity to solve a whodunit given Jordan's extensive list of adversaries. We now know Victor Newman is imprisoning Jordan in his dungeon while leading everyone else to accept his false narrative about her falling off a bridge and dying, thanks to a significant reveal in the YNR episode from April 25th. Naturally, Victor finds himself in a difficult predicament because it doesn't make sense for him to keep Jordan imprisoned in that cellar indefinitely. Sending Jordan back to prison also seems perilous given how incompetent the guards have shown themselves to be. Victor will insist that Jordan tell him where Claire Grace is, but there's no assurance Jordan will comply. Furthermore, Claire's call to Victoria Newman might open up another way to save her and deprive Jordan of any leverage. What will Victor do with his hated hostage at that point? It would be intriguing if someone unexpectedly learned that Jordan was down there and made an armed approach to her while Victor is making up his mind. It's not difficult to see a gloved hand approaching the bars that ensnared Jordan, grasping a weapon. Fans may ponder who brought about Jordan's unfortunate destiny if an off-screen shooter opens fire on her. Upon his return, Victor might discover a corpse rather than the live captive he had left behind. It might lead to a long-running suspect list in a whodunit, particularly in light of Harrison Abbott's most recent experience. Is Summer Newman going to finally take a stand and deal with Jordan? Is Nikki Newman the one who chooses to remove Jordan rather than letting her go like he did previously? Of course, there are always other choices, such as Claire herself if she returns home or Victoria after she eventually gets Claire back. It's possible that this entire situation will drive Claire or Victoria insane. There may also be unidentified individuals who have strong motivations to remove Jordan from the picture, such as Kyle Abbott or Michelle Stafford's character Phyllis Summers. Either way, it would be easy for someone to track Victor and find out Jordan's true whereabouts. That might lead to a mystery surrounding Jordan's horrific end and pique everyone's interest in who exactly eliminated her from the earth. We anticipate that Jordan will soon be dealt some curveballs, so we'll keep you informed of any shocking developments. Keep an eye out for spoilers on the young and the restless that suggest Jordan's life may still be in jeopardy. The next update for today. Cole and Victoria discover the gorgeous location of Claire's daughter by following her trail. According to teasers for the April 25th episode of The Young and the Restless, Victoria Newman will experience both fear and hope following Claire Grace's phone call. Victoria will be left feeling conflicted as Jordan's nightmare drags on. In some respects, Victoria will be really relieved that she heard Claire's voice because she had been afraid that Claire would have passed away as a result of Jordan's revenge scheme. Victoria should be thankful for this as it's the first indication of life she's had throughout the entire ordeal. Victoria will be concerned as well because it was obvious that Claire was in need of assistance and was attempting to contact her mother. That will notify Victoria that Claire, owing to whatever predicament Jordan has put her in, requires immediate assistance. Victoria might confess to Nikki Newman and Cole Howard that she could hardly hear Claire on the other end of the call. 
There might not be much information available because Claire was unable to disclose her whereabouts. Of course, Claire might give it another go by phone. Claire could be able to say a few more phrases that could provide hints as to where she is, even if the connection isn't any better the second time. Maybe Victor Newman may get his people to look into and try to determine the precise location of that call. Jordan might have imprisoned Claire in a distant location, where she has just now succeeded in escaping her constraints. Claire has managed to get her hands on a phone, but it seems like the service is awful. Although it may make it more difficult to find Claire, Victoria and Cole are determined to find their daughter. We will explore if Harrison Abbott can provide Kyle Abbott with some information that Cole and Victoria can use to further the Claire search. Harrison's confirmation that Claire was the victim in all of this and not Jordan's accomplice is, at the very least, commendable. Fans of YNR were aware that Claire had been kidnapped from the beginning, but the characters required some explanation. Victor might be able to get some information about Claire's current location from Jordan, who has taken up residence as his covert hostage. In any case, Victoria and Cole might end up taking the lead in saving Claire. It appears that Claire will see how much she can rely on her parents when it matters most, Cole and Victoria. Stay in for more predictions on the remainder of the kidnapping chaos, as spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that Claire will find a way out of this situation. The next update for today. Jordan's Claire Games, a strange discovery for Victoria and Cole. Spoilers for Monday, April 29's episode of The Young and the Restless indicate that Nikki Newman will experience spinning out. Nikki will realize that the nightmare isn't finished even though Victor Newman told a falsehood about Jordan's death because Claire Grace is still missing. Nikki will crack open a bottle of vodka and completely wreck a suite at the athletic club at some time soon. Jack Abbott will be able to locate Nikki and determine the extent of her intoxicated damage. But Victoria Newman and Cole Howard will figure up a more useful way to handle all of Claire's mess. It appears that Cole and Victoria will choose to go to Jordan's former hotel room after reflecting over Claire's muted call for assistance. Jordan may have left something behind that could provide Victoria and Cole with a clue as to where she took Claire. According to the YNR teaser trailer, Cole and Victoria are going to uncover something peculiar during the week of April 29th to May 3rd. Victoria and Cole will explore a doll they find with something tucked in the back in the hopes of discovering a key or other item that will help solve the mystery surrounding Claire. As Cole and Victoria advance, we ought to witness Jordan's reaction from behind bars as Victor Newman demands explanations from Claire. Since Jordan can't be sure that anything will change if she gives out information, she might simply play games and put Victor under pressure. Jordan might play with Victor, acting as though she would sooner die in prison than assist Claire in reuniting with her cherished Newman family, since it's not like Victor can let his prisoner walk free. Jordan may relish the terror in Newman since this is her last opportunity to exact retribution. Jordan might make the forecast that Victoria and Cole won't see their daughter again until she's reduced to a corpse. Thankfully, Claire and the worried Newmans who are searching for her are about to have a more positive conclusion. Keep checking back for updates on all the crazy news and dramatic moments as the young and the restless spoilers indicate that Claire's rescue will involve some unexpected turns. The next update for today. Jordan's Doll, Nikki's Drunken Disaster, A Claire Clue the Young and the Restless spoilers for the week of April 29th to May 3rd indicate that Ashley Abbott's mental health problems will be addressed by Alan Lauren, but Belle has other ideas. Belle will make Ashley believe that she needs a new partner in order to move on from Tucker McCall, so she'll make out with Alan in an attempt to ignite a romantic spark. Alan will naturally feel uneasy about it and be want to reassure Ashley that they are still friends, just as they were in Paris. Bella responds, but there's an agenda, in the weekly preview video for YNR. Maybe Belle will admit that Tracy Abbott's worries are what brought Alan, but she'll act like her sister is exaggerating. 
Nevertheless, Belle will tell Alan that she's happy to see him and that she hopes this may be the beginning of a hot new relationship. Alan hopes to speak with Ashley in person at some point to confirm that she does, in fact, suffer from dissociative identity disorder. Ashley ought to receive the necessary medical attention as a result of this. Together with Victoria Newman and Cole Howard, they will find a clue that can point to Claire Grace's location. Victoria and Cole are shown carrying a doll that Jordan reportedly left behind at her motel hideout in the YNR weekly preview film. Cole and Victoria are going to open the doll from the back because there will be something inside. Hopefully, the information contained there will make some connections and prepare the way for Claire to safely return home. Nikki Newman will have a drunken breakdown at the GCAC, leaving a suite completely disorganized. Jack Abbott plans to visit the tragedy site and inquire about what transpired after he eventually persuades Nikki to let him inside. Perhaps Nikki won't be able to handle the guilt of Claire's possible permanent disappearance. It's possible that Nikki's plastered outburst was caused by her mounting concerns that Victoria might lose her daughter once more. Of course, Jack will try his hardest to reassure Nikki and pull her out of this dark hole. Given all the doll-related things we've been discussing, Nikki ought to hear some exciting news soon. Don't miss a second of the action, our forecasts indicate that Claire will shortly undergo a spectacular rescue. According to teasers for the young and the restless, Victoria and Cole will stop at nothing to ensure Claire has a joyful return home. The next update for today. Belle selects Ashley's new boyfriend as Audra's stand-in for the wedding. Before hitting the sheets with Tucker McCall, Audra Charles will discuss some fresh ideas for Glissade with him, according to the young and the restless spoilers for Friday, April 26. Tucker will offer that they go downstairs for dinner together because Audra will be hungry after they're done. Tracy Abbott will persuade Ashley Abbott's most recent alter ego to join her for dinner in the interim. Tracy will get more and more anxious as Spell plays down her worries, especially since Belle will be so preoccupied with tequila shots. Audra and Tucker will be encountered by Belle and Tracy as they leave the GCAC. Audra will insist on going to the women's room by herself after Belle reassures her that she can overcome her father issue. Tucker will believe it's obvious that Ashley hasn't received the necessary medical attention, but Tracy will make Tucker back off. For a short while, Audra will argue with Tucker once more, making it obvious that he needs to move past the Ashley situation. Tucker will pull out the engagement ring once more and attempt to persuade Audra to marry him after they sit down at a table together. Tucker will even recommend a private ceremony because, at its core, this is a vow for their future. Instead, Audra will make a number of absurd promises before deciding on a sincere one. Audra will propose that instead of getting married, she should tell Tucker every day that she is in his life because of her love for him, not because of a binding contract. Tracy will leave her sister alone in the living room for a little while after taking Belle home. Ashley will have a mental battle between Belle and a Ms. Abbott following a headache. Ms. Abbott will bring up the fact that she banished Ash and express her hope that letting Belle play outside wasn't an error. Ms. Abbott will demand that Tucker has to go. Belle will counter that it's too chaotic and might put Ashley in jail. Rather, Belle will believe that finding Ashley a new love partner is the only way to break Tucker's heart. Belle won't believe that this will be difficult at all, considering the brilliance in Genoa City. Belle will remind Ms. Abbott that she's still in power and will wake up to reunite with Tracy, despite Ms. Abbott, tiring about how foolish that concept is. Tracy's suggestion to involve Ashley's Parisian friend, a psychologist, in her case will make Belle aware of his intelligence, charisma, and good looks. Belle will tell herself that he'll be okay, and predict that Ashley will ask, Tucker who, at some point. Tracy will acknowledge that she has already left a message and is awaiting a response after Belle states that would help her feel more at ease during treatment. Belle will be happy about this new advancement. 
Mariah Copeland will notice Tessa Porter humming at society and figure it's because she's happy. While Mariah is working on a strategy to make Tessa happier, she will be thinking back on all the wonderful things in her life. Mariah will then recommend that Tessa play at a few local music festivals, as soon as she receives updates, Devin Hamitten Winters and Abby Newman Abbott will agree. Devin will then talk to Abby about how Billy Abbott's tenure at Chancellor Winters was just one huge power play in this Friday's YNR episode. He will also imply that Billy isn't going anywhere. Billy finds Lily at Crimson Lights and expresses optimism that she will change her mind while Devin expresses his reservations about Billy attempting to influence Lily. Billy will also persuade Lily to join him for a drink at the Jazz Lounge, where they can connect over anecdotes about their children and their sage fathers. According to previews for The Young and the Restless, Billy will keep trying to get his way, so keep an eye out for any unsettling developments that may arise. Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.